Hello everyone, this is the CSL, your host Hydro and also player Hydro, and then our my co-host Shadow Wolf. Hello everyone, I'm Protoss. <laughs> We're casting uh, Texas Tech University versus University of Texas Austin, this is Division 2, and I'm going to pause the game real quick, Game. so I want to make sure something's working right. One sec, Shadow. I just don't want people to see the uh, the game length. <laughs> like doing a bad job at that. All right, that's good. Okay. So, all right. Game resumed. So, Al, I'm pretty sure we both have control of this, right? Like, I move independently of you. Mm-hmm. I've never done watch replay. Yeah, that's what I was checking out. All right, so you want to do player intros? I'm in the bottom <laughs> right. Oh, you can't because I'm no controlling it. All right, in the bottom right, we have the orange mm -hmm. Zerg. He is for Texas Tech University. Hydro, a.k.a. me. I had a sub in today for one of our players. And his opponent in the top left, a purple Zerg playing for University of Texas at Austin. It's Phil. Alright, Al, what do you know about ZVZ? Well, you know what? I don't know much about ZVZ. I just know it's a lot of action packed game early on. So, pool and expo will be pretty important here when uh, they decide to put it down. And, I don't know, how'd you feel going into this uh, ZVZ matchup here? Well, I'm not going to reveal too much about how I play ZVZ, but let's say I don't like to play late games. <laughs> so, as you can see here, I scouted off early. Wanted to make sure I wasn't getting six pooled or cheese anything, because I'm, I'm pretty leery of that kind of thing in a best of one. You know, you never know. Um, mm. I've even been prone to do it a la mm. last week when I just did a triple barracks rush. But uh, that's because I accidentally off raced. So, but yeah, you can see felt here. He's scouting me. He's doing the same thing. We both threw down our pools at 15. Both threw down our gas. We have pretty identical bills at this point in time. 15 pool, 15 gas. Most conservative ZVZ opening. That way you can get your speed early and you don't die to any speedling all ins. And Shadow Wolf, you're lagging. Is it? Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's real bad. That's alright. It, it, it's smooth out. I hope it does. Little drone kiss in the middle here. <laughs> really clean though, huh? Now, do you guys normally get a lot of queens out in the beginning for a ZVZ? No, usually just one per hatchery, just so we could keep our injects up. So, the hatchery is. I had a schedule for Filth. He went for an earlier hatchery than I did. I have a particular build that I'm working on, which requires a little bit later hatchery. So I went with that. Uh, speed started for Hydro. Um, Game oops, my bad. Game Earlier than Filth. Let me put the production tab up there. So okay, you guys can see that now. So Hydro has a little bit of a lead and throws down the evolution chamber. Now that's interesting, isn't it, Al? Hmm. Looks like you're going to be kind of focusing on ground here, maybe going roaches. Maybe. <laughs> I know exactly what I do, so it's like hard to cast this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... Well, I know, that's, that's, that's the only thing I can think of as a pro if I see that being thrown down. You're still only like on one gas, so... And it's Z. You're just going to have good map control with those links, especially with the lead of the uh, speed speed upgrade. So Hydro's Hatchery just finished, second queen's about to pop, and um, 
He starts oh. carapace, or I start carapace, level one upgrades. Look, I'm there. So, Al, do you know what this is? Do you know what I'm doing? Or Shadow Wolf? What's carapace supposed to do? I don't play Zerg, man. So, Phil's getting a spine crawler also up at his expansion for defense. So, plus one carapace is your, you know, your ground, your ground armor. And the mm. reason why that's so important in ZVZ is now banelings take two, takes two banelings to kill a zergling. Where... Oh, if you have that upgraded? With zero, yeah, with zero armor upgrades, one baneling could kill like 30 zerglings, so... Looks like Hydro is going to be going for some kind of timing attack with a plus one carapace. He also does, throws down a Baneling Nest, as does mm. Filth. Filth has not completed yet. And Filth also throws down a, a yeah. Rotorn. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Hydro's starting to pull a lot of a lot of lings up in his base here. And Phil's still only, he's only got like six lings out. But as he's got a significant worker lead. Let's see here. I don't know these. Control R. No, that's 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 workers killed. Um, all right, income. So Filth has twelve worker lead right now. But as you can see, Hydro has like a billion zergling lead. So Hydro sending out some lings. Phil sees it. Phil gets ready with some banelings. Oh, Hydro pushing up the ramp. Takes out a few banelings. Takes out some more, trying to bait out those those banelings. And here comes the swarm. He's sending in all of his wings, feelings, plus one character's finish. Splitting them up, sending them into the main and into the natural. Banelings almost finished for Phil, though. They could save the day here. Oh, but he splits them up. And, oh, two Banelings explode on two very nice. And the main Doesn't is grabbed. Like it's all the workers in the time. Saved. That's it. Phil calls GG. No workers left. And Texas Tech face, takes the first game. Oh man, I have to chuckle just because I know playing against uh, Hydro there. It seems like a quick, nice way to get in there, get map vision, speedlings, going to banelings with the carapace upgrade. Nice. It's a good take. Okay, so the second game, loaded up here. It's going to be a 1v1. It's going to be a Zerg versus Terran. I'm just going to get my co caster in here. Okay, so the second game, loading it up here, it's going to be a 1v1. I also want to put the game music on, because um, it's a little quiet without it. I usually have it off. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, here we go. Loading up game two of Texas Tech University versus University of Texas at Austin. It will be Rogue versus Mega Man Zen. Al, what do you know about ZVT? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's all right. It's ZVT, huh? Yep. So I spine. I'm uh, gonna go CC first. It's a little dangerous. Yeah. So spawning the top left of Frost, we have the blue Terran, light blue Terran, Mega Man Zen from University of Texas. And in the bottom right, spawning his as his school colors as a Zerg, it is Rogue for Texas Tech. So ZVT is a match that I struggle with a lot as a Zerg. Um, 
Widowmines just like blow my mutas out of the sky. I just never seem to be able to match the macro. You left the game. Huh. What happened? Are you actually gone? Yeah, I got dropped. That was, didn't Falls. even count down. Oh, Alright, I'll, I'll restart because we're only a minute in. So. You just. Are you still on Battle.net? Yeah. Yeah. It's just. I don't know why it just it took me right to the oh, replay. Shit, 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 shit. I hit. I just. Oh, fuck. I hit watch without hitting watch with others. Alright. Thank god it was already loaded, so it loaded really fast, so I'm already out. Okay, watch with others. I'm sure if we just party up, this would be a lot easier. You're invited to party. Did you get in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, let's try that again, folks. Game 3 is uh, the one I'm really excited for, but this I actually looked at the stats of this one. It looked pretty close as well. Um, seems like there's a good climactic battle. Alright, so again, I'll just start over. Spawning in the top left for the University of Texas at Austin, it is the Ice Blue Terran. It is Mega Man Zen. And in the bottom right for Texas Tech University, spawning as the Red Zerg. It is Rogue. Sporting Texas Tech colors there. Very nice. I don't know University of Texas. Well, I guess they're the uh, orange, right? Yeah. I should probably know this. Being in Texas and all. Mm -hmm. yep, so, looks like uh, Mega Man Zen going to be going for that, that wall at the top of his ramp. Is wise, wise. Smart, smart thing to do. Don't want to get six pulled. Though, if any map you're going to be a little greedy, a little risky, it'd be a huge map like this with four bases because doing a six pull on a map like this is really difficult because look at how far his overlord is already trying to scout this base. It's not that far. So he, he has no idea where he'd be. By the time his links would start popping out, he wouldn't know where to send them. So, I yep. have experienced losing cheeses, because I don't know where my opponents are. Mm, it's always good to scout. I always try to go for a nexus before my forge, especially on maps like this. Oh yeah, map like this is good to do, and I love to catch you with your pants down, because then I send a double drone scout, and then I just do an A-pool, and it works every time for snakes yeah. first. <laughs> Almost every time. Sometimes I do these miraculous po probe holds, but... Alright, let's get that production tab up. Oh. You have to always yeah. have to be scouting, yeah. always gotta be on. You have to know when those lanes are out. If you're doing something like that, too, that greedy. Alright, so. Mega Man gets a full wall, and Rogue scouts. Didn't actually scout scout yet, but since his drone got a little. mispathed there, he probably knows. Yep, okay. Probably going Reaper. Yeah, Reaper opening for the Reaper Scout. Yep. So those overlords are aimlessly going towards no man's land. Pulling the drone back. First Reaper coming out. Rogue has a spawning pool. We got, the, we got the Reaper Scout with oh, the wow. command center down at the expo. Yeah, command center down already. There we go. It's a greedy build, it's a no fall. bunker or anything. It should come down shortly. Unless he's really not worried. we will find out actually probably after the scout. Yeah. Bro, or, uh, Mega Man Zen still doesn't know exactly where... Factory down. Where Rogue is. Rogue started gas. Didn't mind for for a while, but now he is. Four lings on the way. And yeah, he's starting a factory already. I think he might be going for that Reaper Hellion. We'll see. Ooh, Tech Lab. That's interesting. Do you think he's going for Marauder Hellion push? 
Very possible. It's kind of a long distance to do something like that, though, to walk Marauders yeah. all the way across the map. If you could see that coming, you could just easily get some, I guess, just... Well, Ro mm, it's it's tough to make a composition. It's a good it's a good mm -hmm. counter to a lot of composition, but like Zergling Roach, you get against that. Just speedlings. I would just like mass speedlings because if you get a surround on the hellions, you could tear them down very fast. Okay, Rogue does a nice little yeah. scout here. Get in. Oh, he get in face. Like Man Zen, not even using his bunker. Reactor coming on the factory. Starport on the way. And a reactor on the second barracks there. Rogue going very conservative, making full wall. Well, no, it's not a full wall, but almost full wall. Easily blocked with the queen. I don't... I, how do I do drag scroll? I think it... I don't know. No, I changed it. I changed the hotkey. I'm just gonna look real quick. Oh, I took it off. Okay. What did I just unhotkey? Oh, that's fine. All right, there we go. Threw down the reactor for the starport. I was wondering what he was gonna throw down. So he's probably gonna try to do some drops. Oh Maybe. wow! Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna. I wonder if he's gonna do a widow mine drop. Yeah, he has a widow mine. He pumped out. He's pumping them out now. Ro ah. Rogue sending a lot of lanes across the map. Still doesn't have speed. Oh, the owl kicks in. Oh wow, that was good timing. But good timing. I don't know if he planned that or it just so happened to be like that. I'm gonna say he's planned that. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. But it doesn't matter. There's a full wall, double bunker. Um. Jeez, he could have picked out that SCV on the outside, especially with the Widow Mine, it would have uh, killed it. You think he's going to try to do like a two-base hit here? Two-base all-in? Because should uh, usually third be down. Yeah, there's no third CC, so yeah. He might harass and go into a third, I'm not sure. Hmm. Rogue putting uh, putting Lings on patrol there. Must have had some bad experiences with drops in that part of the map or something. Surprised oh, he's not going go. down he's here. Trying to run in here, but the widow mines takes them out. Oh, and that was just a waste of zerglings. Didn't even detonate the widow mine. It's nice if you can get some zerglings on top of the marines and then just you know kill some marines. But sometimes the lings just die before they even get to set off the widow mines, which kind of sucks. And you just keep throwing units away. Okay, so rogue sending the. Uh, a roach zergling attack. He's got plus one on his roaches. Rogue scanning the main base. Still no third for either player, which is um, quite surprising for the, especially for the zerg. Okay, roaches still don't even have speed. And, um, ooh, rogue throwing some zerglings away. Not paying attention to where he move commanded. Beginning has one um has one one. Well, okay, we'll get. And the shield. Seen Mega Man Z's army, Mega Man Zen's army. He um, he started retreating. Oh, one little, one little oh. brave drone wandering out on his own lonesome. Looks like uh, Mega Man dude here is uh, looking for a time and oh, he's yeah. moving out. Got his one one. He's about to like finish. They're both halfway with the shield. Oh boy. Rogue should send his lings. He's, oh, it's going to be tough to get his lings out of there to get a good engagement. Put a mine down. This is a tough. Go. This is a t this is going to be tough for for Rogue to engage. He's going to choke himself. It almost might help him having that spine crawler go down, but Mega Man Zen pushing into the natural here. I don't like this. He should he should wait for that to finish. It's up one one, but it will kick in. Yeah. So he's oh, the widow mine. Oh. oh, and uh, and Rogue go. But Mega Man Zen. that one, one. Mega Man Zen still has a good supply lead over him. 
Yeah, that one. It would have been nice if. Um, yeah. Oh, there. Okay, there it goes now. He threw down the third. Would have been nice though if he threw it before the engagement. Doing really well. starting to kick in with production, Mega Man Zen. Rogue still only on two bases. This is this is going to hurt him. Zerg, twelve minutes in, should be on three bases. Definitely, maybe even beginning to start a fourth, depending on pen, depending on how passive the players are playing. How do you feel about his spire transition? Um, oh boy, not enough economy. Although, I don't know, I've seen Scarlet do amazing things off two base Zerg, but <laughs> he's not Scarlet, so no one's Scarlet. Rogue going for a run by, but oh, Mega Man Zen with the nice depot raise just in time, pushes them out, trying to hunt them down as well. Ooh. Supply cap for a little bit here. Oh, Mega Man Zen does find them. Both players at over 100 APM. Oh boy, here comes Mega Man 13 Zen. 13 mutants. 13 mutants. 1 1. So it seems like Rogue likes to play the Zergling Roach into Muta style. It's kind of interesting, actually. I almost kind of like that because roaches are roaches are real good in the early mid game. They're terrible in the late game. Absolutely terrible. So they could really help. Them. No family. Family would have been a little bit nice, yeah. He's pushing the stack, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fuck his Muta's too much. The Widow Mine. Good shots on the roaches. Yeah. I, I think he'll, he'll clean that up. Oh, I think Roach should try and chase that down. He could take out all... There is There are more medevacs than marines at this point. Mm -hmm. He could kill all of those. He could easily take out those marines. Oh. All well, right, now would be a good time to maybe drop at east side. It's always possible, but the mutas being out would be uh, scary. Yeah. With the mutas, though, you don't want to start loading up medevacs full of marines. That's the worst time <coughs> to do it. Mega Man Zen still pulling ahead in the supply lead, though. And keeps capping himself. He's uh, flying his uh, command center down, but Rogue is going for <laughs> a mutilus attack. Oh, a hidden. That's where he put the spire. I was looking for it. He made a hidden spire with his own weapon. That Attack in the Wait, natural, and attack in both naturals, Rogue attacking Mega Man Zen's natural. Oh, Rogue repels the attack at his natural, but I can't help but feel the economy of Mega Man Zen's going to be too good. I mean, Rogue's still on two bases. He can't keep, he can't keep this up. These Marines are just going to keep streaming in. And the gas, he needs gas. That Muta production. He needs some Banelings at this point. This is straight Marines. Straight Marines yeah. beat everything Zerg has except for the <laughs> Oh Way boy. Too DPS. There's just too much here. I can't see Rogue holding this. Each one of those Marines has a personal meta bag. GG by Rogue. Rogue calls the GG. That ties up the series. UT Austin so. takes that one. Texas Tech still at one, so 1-1 one, one right now. Heading into the 2v2. Now, I heard this game it was fantastic. Al, can you, well, leave? Uh, can you leave the thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it now. Okay, it just wouldn't let me watch with others until you left. Oh, that was a good match. I did enjoy that one. That was a good one. Yeah. If Open up with the Rogue just got some. Uh, maybe, yeah. You know, if he just got some banelings, I feel like. Even if he just went for a third, I mean, I feel like that really would have helped him out. But his two base economy, you can't. As a Zerg, that's something you can't. You can't fight off of. Yeah. It's either you're gonna make something happen, and if you don't, you gotta get that third. Yeah. There's like some. There's like all ends you could do off of it, but it's. You can't play macro from that. It's very difficult. 
All right, so this 2v2, apparently Sanfan. So Sanfan. San's a Korean um, Protoss player. But he's actually Grandmaster. Or was Grandmaster once. So, okay, so I'll do the player introductions. Over here on the, I guess, right middle of the map, we have UT Austin's Fork Bomb. Playing as Zerg. And in the bottom right, also playing for UT Austin, it is the Red Terran, San. And Texas Tech University, middle left, we have the blue Protoss, Cosmic. Mm. And in the top left, also for Texas Tech University, we have the blue Terran, Tom T. So Tom T played for us last week, as did Cosmic. I actually played the 2v2 um, with Cosmic against the University of New Mexico, and we won with a cheese. Which is very satisfying. I'm pretty. I, I'm starting to realize I'm quite a cheesy player. Um, well, it comes with it. So yeah, you have good players do catch it, and if you catch it and you stop it, it's an easy win. Yeah, I, I just. It's I feel like pretty. I just don't want to. Long games stress me out, and I just want to play like a bunch. So I don't want to take forever either. So I just want to like. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spend all day playing giant macro games. Fourteen pools. You got that by four Game paused. Oh, sorry. I, I keep Game forgetting music. production's D, not B. Okay, yeah, so spawning pool started. We have a wall from San, a wall from Tom T. <coughs> typical Terran stuff. Oh, Cosmic too much taking the two Terran. gas. Oh, yeah, Cosmic going for double gas. Wow. I like that. I like Ooh, that. What's he doing? Is he going DTs, you think? Is that a DT build? Um, he could, well... That's a lot of gas. It is, but usually if you want to, like, you know, get the Mothership Core out first, or maybe, but he's going to, well, he's going to zell it. I usually get double gas because I know I'm going to be spending a lot of gas. I mean, they're going to be pumping out sentries or getting, uh, getting air for the Zerg. But even before you have full mineral saturation? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'll take it, just because, um, well, at least if it's a PVZ matchup, I've been watching, I've seen Desperate's been going like five, seven, maybe even eight centuries, and he's been doing like a gateway expand, and it's been working really well. He even took like, Ooh. he even took this map that was like a Z matchup, and he still won. What, on Daedalus Point good. in the uh, Challenger qualifiers? I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. On that on that map that's yeah, supposed that to be ramp. like super Zerg yeah, favored? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Yo, look at yeah. look at this cosmic go middle middle bottom going for the uh, Stargate proxy. Gonna yep, do see? some Oracle action here. That's, That's why another thing so too. You can watch out if you see double gas too. Tom T getting a good scout here. With his Reaper. He will get away from those Marines. Bunker put up by Sam. Oh, Tom's go gonna lose the Reaper. It's got two health. Will it uh -oh. get away? Oh no! Uh, Once he gets safe. off creep, oh, we better not jump down there though. Watch out with that bunker! Ooh! Uh, wow! He gets away. Nice micro. I'm wondering. Uh, I've been seeing a lot. It's been a lot of Hellions that they've been pumping out of the factory. They've either been going like to Banshee, Cloak Banshee, one or two. Yo, look at this. Sentry. And then hold on, look at this sentry. He's like shooting a beam into the Soldier's butthole. Yeah, it's Hellions. <laughs> I wonder if that'll supply to cap him. Let's see. Yeah, it will. Ooh, supply cap. He's super hard eight. for supply cap. He was already supply cap when he was getting that beat up. Ah. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate for him. Oh. Oracle taken out. Oracle oh. in the main. It took out. Oh. oh boy. Oh, it's taking some damage, but it survives. A lot of energy though. He's just gotta relax. All the controls are different. Ooh, five. He lost five units lost for that red turn. 
Yeah. Uh, Sam. Five worker kills. For Cosmic. Oh, and he sends in another Oracle. Now he's got two. Oof, six, seven. Eight. Eight. Nice. Let's take out the mule. Take out that man. Oh, yep. and, oh, he loses. He loses the second Oracle. Oh, fork bomb. Fork bomb found the Stargate. But a third Oracle is out for Cosmic. It did his job. Oh, Sand That's good. going to build a third command center, but. Terrence coming down. Instantly when he sees the Oracle just idling there. Oh! Cosmic it's gonna go. get saved. That Stargate. Oh, yeah, Tom the Hell and Reaper. Tom T saving it. From Which is good. That's good. We got the one. One upgrade for uh, Sand finish. Tom T pushing the natural here. Reason I'm really done with that. Probably just back it off. A lot of banging, yeah. some zero lanes, threw down some wall. Oh, that bunk. Cosmic back in action. The Oracle got a few more ki drone kills. Just racking up those workers. Yeah. Oracle's great when it's used like this, absolutely. Keeping it alive. You know, but. I gotta say, Texas Tech guys, their their expansions are just getting going. I mean, Cosmic didn't even expand yet, where the expansions have been up quite a while for the UT Austin guys. Yeah. Oracle, very, very. back attacking the main, attacking Force Bomb. Got a few more kills. Got ten worker kills on this Oracle. That's more than <coughs> more than enough to pay for itself. Oh, Tom T. Look at this clever little widow mine. Look at these little widow mines and all these expansions. Mm -hmm. That's that's cute. You have no idea how annoying that is. Holy crap. Mm. In fact, you probably do, actually. <laughs> Very nice. It's probably least annoying for Terrence because they usually just like lift their build with their well, centers and land. I know it's Protoss. When I go to my third, there's always a ling there, and it's always it either disturbs a probe every time, and then you gotta send out another one. And it's really <laughs> annoying, so. Something you can't even see. Yeah. Because not everybody gets the barrel, barrel lings and then goes to the base, but sometimes you catch them. Yeah. It's, That's something I should definitely mix in my play more yeah, often. Yeah, then it's just like sometimes you're just, I'm like, oh my god, now I gotta make it a freaking, I gotta make a pylon, robo, <laughs> then get the observer out. So much time. It makes me just want to probably just do a two base. But. Oh, Tom T pushing in here, pushing in the natural, but he'll probably just back off once he sees that large amount of marines. Okay. Well, I gotta say, the supplies are kind of like even going, here. Uh, Cosmic's I mean, going for Colossi here. I mean, Cosmic's suppl behind supply, but he is also Protoss, which has some of the most efficient supply. And um, Tom T's way ahead. His macro's been... Tom T's macro is impressing me right now. He's got like units all over the place. He's got widow mines burrowed in these expansions. His production's off the hook right now. And his supply is, is, is 30 ahead of everybody else. That's that's impressive. Especially considering the Zerg. Um as Zerg you should you should have a supply supply lead almost at all times in all matchups except C V Z. Put a nice widow mine spread here. <laughs> Their upgrades. Their upgrades are ahead for the red team. Not oh, by much. Oh, yeah. But they are a little bit. Terran guy has his upgrades more than the uh, blue Terran. Zerg getting Baneling speed. I'll say and the Zerg. The Zerg and Protoss are you. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be 2 1 soon for, uh, for San. Baneling. Oh, I think we just got some more kills on this Oracle. Just maybe got some more kills. Not a very good observer. I apologize. This is like literally the first time I've done this. Tom T going for the expansion. Top middle. Fourth bomb sees it. Oh! They're pushing out. Tom T's got a good spread, but... Ooh, I don't know if he could do this alone. This is two on one. Mm -hmm. He's got double team. Oh, and he's sending more units. He shouldn't be saying, okay. 
Cosmic's out, but he should, yeah, he should retreat. I mean, Cosmic is not there to help him out. That was a good contain, but, you know, two on one, there's only so much you could do. Uh-oh. The expansions have been found. Cancel. Cancel and the pro picked out, so that's going to really delay things. Oh, and here we, Tom T. Oh, the planetary is not going to finish all those fresh mules. Oh, but here, Tom, Tom and Cosmic are pushing out, though. They can trap the army in here. Oh, I would be careful with all those mainlings. I'll pull back, yeah. Tom put up a nice little mark. Doesn't work too well. Oh, oh wait, he's going to get back. Oh. Okay. Okay, we got that. Nice. That actually worked out a little better than I thought. I forget how bad banelings are against Protoss units. They could eat like a thousand banelings before like you kill anything. I'd be worried. I would have liked that they fought up a little bit more on the top. They could have set that up a little bit better, but it's still yeah. it's hard. It's hard to really get that like that. I keep that coming out with a decent, well, cumulative supply lead, I'll say. Uh, the Zerg. The Zerg uh, fork bomb falling a little bit behind in supply, but it's. I feel for him, it's very difficult to work off two bases as a Zerg, especially when, like. Oh! Especially when you're trying to expand, you got Widow Mines blowing your ass up. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, right now is. is uh, it's really key for them to throw down their expo, especially since they know they have their, their fourth or third expo, you know, blocked off. Fork they bomb does see this now. drop coming in from Tom T. Ooh, drop. drop! Nice drop! Here comes Very good drop in the main. Gonna cancel. Tom's makes third. Oh, Tom's gotta get out of there. He's gonna lose all his units. Oh, all the mana dice oh, go down. God. All the units go down. Mm, not so sure that was worth it in the end because he didn't even get the lair. If he took out the lair. That would've been that would've been a nice. Stop to his tech. Although Fourth Bomb preemptively started another lane in his match, though. That's a wise move. You don't want that tech no. to be taken out. No, that was good. Good by both. So far, they, 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 each team, each team, me, one of them, each have an extra base off. Yeah, they both stop. You need to re expand here at the top middle. Hopefully, you can maintain it this time. I think it'd be. It's a close game. Yeah. Storm again. Storm's gonna be getting out soon. Tom T going for a That'll huge drop in the main fort bomb. Oh, Terran's upgrade. Wow. Takes down the lair. Finally gets it, but... Oh, your nice. graphics on low. Oh, I can fix them on low. up, yeah, um, from pause, can you please put your graphics on low? Um, try and put everything on low, that way yeah. you can just have it as smooth as possible. If it asks to restart, just say no. <coughs> I had accept, but now it's like frozen. Yeah, just give it a second. You're actually dropping right now for me, but I'm sure it'll smooth out. It does that when you adjust the graphics. <laughs> Still nothing? Still nothing. I think it froze on me. Up. Oh. Is it good? Okay, I'm returned to game. You good? Yeah. All right. Let's good. Oh, and Tom T's entire drop got cleaned up in the main as uh, San came and dr he dropped inside. 
a fourth bomb space to assist them with that that defense. Mm -hmm. That uh, for the red Terran is that his tier three upgrade is going to be done soon. Really good. Oh yeah. He's even getting one Sorry. for his uh, his Viking. He's getting plus one. And uh, Pork Bomb has two two on his roaches as well. Cosmic has pretty good upgrades. Tom T's upgrades are definitely lacking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Nah. And tier 3 armor. Oh boy, this could be really bad for UC Austin as they're gonna get sandwiched in here. But maybe they could do a lot of damage. Maybe Those Colossus could out. just breach. Oh, good storm! Oh, nice storm! Oh, and that Terran army just ate it. Those zealots alone would probably take that out. He does take out a Robo, which is nice, and there was a Colossus that was coming out of that. Oh, feedback to the war on the meta back. Okay, I'm gonna say if they can stabilize here and get an army out, they have a good position, especially since both teammates have their expos up, and red team, they're still down by one base. Yeah. I mean, Fork Bomb still working off his two bases, the Zerg. I mean, his mind's practically mained out. His his uh, natural's a little it's a little healthy for the meantime, but uh, he still hasn't cleared this this Widow Mine here. And um, I mean, he knows it's there. It's killed his drone at least once, and it's gonna it's gonna kill it again. Oh wait, no, it's on cooldown. So I mean, he doesn't yeah. have any units over there to kill it though. Oh, here comes a drop inside Cosmic Space. Does he... Oh, now he knows. Oh, and look at Tom... Tom... Oh, Tom, no! Oh, oh. I thought he... Oh, was... and he was about to get the upgrade. He's gonna have his tier second upgraded. I thought Tom was coming to drop inside Cosmic Space to help him out, but he's actually going for... Um, oh. Uh, and yeah, got... and Cosmic Third is being taken too. Oh wow! I totally Oh wow! That was a Sand. very damaging drop. And multitasking here. Oh, Tom T does does do some counter damage though, taking out this expo. Oh, he doesn't quite kill it though. He does a lot of damage on those yeah, I was hoping he got those, if he got the SCVs. If he got those SCVs, that would have been real nice. Yeah. I mean, he had a, he does have a turret there, so he should have been able to see all those, um, those Widow Mines. Fork Bomb finally getting yeah. an expansion up. Cosmic trying to re-expand, positioning his army in such a way that he could defend it. Tom T throwing down another expansion um, on the gold base in the bottom left area. That's a good move. Set some mules on that base. I think fourth bomb. He's getting plus three on his ground carapace. That is so unfortunate, man. It was literally probably like five seconds and. Cosmic would have had tier 3 attack and armor. Oh, that drop really did hurt him. Yeah. Got his third taken out and got the two, two. Oh! Tom's army getting intercepted here. Cosmic quickly coming over to help, but a large chunk of Tom's army was taken out. Zerg finally gained up his base for the red team fork bomb. Ooh, and more for some Broodlords. Oh boy. Broodlords are oh. never a bad unit. Well, usually. This is a very ground-based army from both players on Texas Tech, so Broodlords are going to be quite fantastic. But you don't want to send just five Broodlords exposed over mm. to attack a base. That is not what you want to do. 
Cosmic oh. starting his uh, tier 3 level upgrades over again. Good. Cosmic sees this. Oh, he better make sure his Colossus don't go killed. Oh boy, one's gonna go down for sure. That Colossus doesn't go down. It has two health. Oh my god, that's so scary. You can click on him, bring it back. He pushes that away, but that was just a diversion. Here comes Sam. Where's me? Up the gut in the middle, right into the natural. Oh, this is like a banner fish. Shoves right up your ass. Like, that's a good thing. He's gonna have to recall here. He's gonna have to recall. There he goes with the recall. He can only recall the main though. The natural just gets destroyed. Yeah. That's better than walking, that's a far walk. Oh, Sam trying to get the main. Taking out the production of Texas Tech here. Oh. oh wow, really doing a lot of damage. Yeah, it's right now I will probably just counter attack. It's it's an all in or nothing now after that hit. The brutal are back picking at the Nexus over here. Oh and I'm sure I'm sure he's gonna drop at this planet. Nice recall. Oh there you go. Oh, but the, all those Colossus, all the Colossus got taken out by, by UT. Oh. Not storming either. Could have been storming those Vikings. The Zealots clean up house. No. The Vikings get away with Tom's got a big army yeah, here. to go. There goes the push, they have to. Tom probably has the biggest army left over from after all that, <laughs> all that fight, but... Looks like he might wait for his tier 3, I don't know. Let's see. I think they He's should just push. He's only getting weapons, now. interestingly enough. <laughs> the game changer is high temps right now. You get a couple of good storms off. Red's Terran. Sang. Army. Now, I'm not sure. They don't know. Activate. UT does not okay. know about the, the base in the top right. Our allies are being attacked. Isn't that the one that they had the little mine there? No, uh, Cosmic Space in the top right. Uh, University of Texas oh. we're, not, we're not aware yeah. of that base. Oh, but San takes out the gold expansion of Texas Tech. But Tom corners the entire army of San. Two tanks that wow. easily clean this up. Easily rips it to pieces. I was gonna say, yeah, that him having those tanks was perfect for that. Yeah, that was a unfortunately with those Vikings though taking all his medivacs. Yeah, he lost his base, but I mean, I think that was took out a good chunk of mm -hmm. the army. I'm not sure who that favored in the end. You know, time will have to tell. Fork bomb taking another gold. Cosmic. Trying to hold off these Broodlords and Roaches, I think he could just push right through that. I'm not sure why he's being so hesitant. Tom taking out the expansion that just popped up of Orc Bomb. Oh, and the Broodlords starting to engage Cosmic oh. to the top. Storming the Broodlords. Takes out one. Tripling forward to be able to get the rest of these. Takes out three. Four. One blue bar left. To the wings of liberty, guys. So, yeah, there we go. So I'm getting ready for the drop here at the bottom. Cosmic. That should distract them after this push. Cosmic taking out the fourth base, or sorry, third base of um, fourth bomb. Fourth bomb now still back on two bases. This guy is that dropping the main. Cosmic. Oh yeah, I see it. I'm watching. It. Going for the Templar Archives. Perfect time to drop with all their army down to the other side. Tom just sitting around. Cosmic doesn't know what he wants to do, he's being a little indecisive. I think they're gonna go for a push while this is happening. I think they're gonna go for some they should, they'll have it. I think they'll go take it. Oh, it's a lot of corruptors. <laughs> that is a lot of corruptors. But with all those marines, if you could stim those marines, get them under there. 
Yeah. Oh, they got right now, he's caught up in them. Except for that armor. They are just... Cosmic is just saying, fuck my base. Let's go kill them. Yeah. And here comes... Oh, six storm over on Tan's army. There's only one Colossus left standing, but Tan's army is clean out. Texas Tech takes that battle quite decisively. He needs to keep pushing. He should just he should push right up the middle. What's gonna stop him? Keep it? going. There's two more. The There's up, like keep four going. marauders and three marines. He's got like 30 marauders. Oh, going back. Going to defend. I guess they don't realize how, how good of a position they're actually in right now. I mean, Cosmic's income is mm -hmm. great. That's true. They don't know. They don't see what we see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you give them time, I mean, look at look at the amount of bases Santa's on. He's actually doing quite well for himself, too. So, you give him time, he's going to be able to remass an army, and he already has uh, quite a bit of Marines and Marauders on his ramp there. Yeah, but, I mean, right now with uh, Tom, he's he caught up to him in upgrades with the 1-1. One, one. Now he's at Tier 3 with the attack and armor now. His, his armor's still so. at 2. Nope. No, it finished. Oh, it did? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now they're, they're, they're even now. Oh, and Son pulled. Son, all that, of course, that was ripping Cosmic's face was pretty much the same. And now look at this. He seems to harass Tom Golden. And Cosmic's hidden base over here. Oh, that was great. Keeping a minute. I don't think they know about this. Oh, they do. They do know about that. Yeah, those uh, brood okay. lords saw it. Yeah, so, I mean, they're in a good position right now, income-wise. Looks like see what University happens. of Texas is poising to take out Texas Tech's gold expansion down here. Wow. Just a good, good match. I honestly thought they, they weren't going to have it, but... <laughs> they were able to maintain the uh, the aggression on both sides, able to split up their army and oh still boy. expanding their upgrades. Tom um, moving up the ramp. Oh, it's not a good position for him. No. Tom got a real good engagement. It's an engagement they need for a good comeback. Widow mines are down. He's trying to bait him, but he's not going to fall for it, I don't think. He saw those burrowing. Son's macro is, is still good. Cosmic was sending out some DTs. Oh, oh, here those they guys. go. Keep an eye on those. Oh, Broodlord's one of the best counters to Widow Mines. <laughs> oh boy, they're gonna send. They set what Widow. Oh, Al, you're lagging. Hmm, looks like they won't do much. Oh no, they will. Tries to get by with them. No spore detection. Oh. oh, they're on top of those DTs. They got a queen. I thought it was going to hit the production, but... Sound is really on top of this. There's a spore, and that, that DT is not going to have... Yep, he's done. I've never fun today. Yeah, I don't really, really see this match turning around. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. I, University of Texas, I feel like it's already right in this. Sand's got a formidable army. Um, yeah. Taking these expos, especially the both high yields. Fork Just bomb. Keep them. Uh, Fork bomb is completely out of resources. He has like trying to like micro the two resources. Oh, it does get a tank with a widow mine. Oh, oh. And I'm moving out. Tom T just loses pretty much his entire army. Tom is at 43 supply. Fork Bomb is at 17 supply. This battle right now is practically cosmic versus Son. I don't know how they're going to defeat Son because Son is 170 supply. He is. He is. He alone has more than the two Texas Tech players combined right now. I mean, Tom has practically 
nothing left. It's, uh, that was it. That was all his stuff. I mean, U University of Texas right here, they're, they're putting their units together. Uh, even though there's only a few Broodlords, but, you know, they're really good for setting off those little mines for units. Yeah. Cosmic is really getting his e his economy is, is is really strong right now. I mean, the amount of bases. But Tom trying to grab that center goal there. You got a two Broodlord harass force. It's quite silly. It's a Tom should be able to uh, up. right in there. Yep. Oh god! But here goes Sen. He is going for an over push. Mm. Cosmic, what are you gonna do? Tom has eight supply left. Cosmic being extremely passive. Mm. Pretty much saying, fuck you, Tom, I, like I don't this. give a shit about your base. <laughs> I like this, I like his option. You know, stay back, he's Protoss. Let him get stronger, build his army. Feels yeah, like they don't have in anything. In the meantime, Tom is losing all of his production or anything. Yeah. I know. I, I, I've been in this position before. I feel like he's, you just have to sit back, though. You can't. You don't want to risk losing it. Mm, amount of high Templars that, uh... You're gonna need some good micro, though. There's no ghost I, on the field. I mean, these high Templars are gonna be very, very powerful. Yeah. I've, I feel like I had, I had that before, minus the Colossi, and I still lost. But... There's three gateways I'm not up good in Cosmic Mike. Space. I'm surprised. Just throw a pile on there and they'll, they'll work again. San now. Oh, look at, look at the like amount of bases. San has all these bases now in the bottom left and stuff. Look at this. Now it's like a top versus bottom game. This is like yeah, wrapping around. There's a lot of command centers for the mules, too. Yeah, that gold is pretty much mined out. I mean, Tom uh, from Texas Tech he took most of those minerals with his mules when he was sitting on that base, but now he's going back to the uh, the top middle gold. Hopefully he could hold that base for a while because he's pretty much down and out. I mean, this is like turning to a 1v1. It's three supply for the Texas oh, Tech team, seven supply for the others in that mix. University of Texas. Zerg. What was that? I, I, the Protoss guy is going to lose this army. There's a lot of Marauders in that mix. Yeah, even if Storm goes down. He needs to have like 10... Oh, oh no! He got it. He just needs to Storm that. Oh, he, look at the... Look at, he's got the High Templar flank. Ah, but he can't oh. quite reach them. Oh, oh he... Oh, oh. He's missing his Storms, though. He needs the Storms down. Oh wow. I wonder if he, uh, let's see here. Oh, he should be able to sandwich his army. There's no, there's no flight path out of here really either. Oh okay. boy. All the AOE and those little choke points. He's all his units in the ball. Sam loses his whole army. And Texas Tech now takes a supply lead. Yeah. He needs to warp in some more units now and just attack his, his main. Take out all his production. Oh man, DTs to all these expansions would be amazing. Yeah. There's no detection at any of them. Any of the ones with minerals, anyway. Cosmic has his one Colossus, one Tempest Stalker Archon army. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting composition to say the least. Sniping over there. One forgotten about lonely medevac in the left middle there. Ah. Fork bomb, I don't know what he's doing, but he's sending out two drones. <laughs> Is he gonna attack with these? Oh yeah, attacking a reactor. Nice. So much mineral and gas. I would like to see him spread some DTs out. San still has a huge supply lead. Um, built right back up because of that great income he has. Yeah. He has a ton I mean, of minerals. Um, oh, and a drop going down, taking out Cosmic's top right there. Yeah. 
I mean, they, he, he has this, he had this match right after that battle, but I just feel like the longer he was waiting, the better Sang is having to come right back. I am surprised Especially that Terran. Cosmic's not sharing resources. Click on his units. Look at that. He's got a, he's got a buttload of Yeah. Things. He has a lot of money. Men and gas. Same with San. I mean, he's got 3,000 minerals. So he could at least throw some to... Yeah. Uh, we'll Fort see, that's... Bomb, make some Zerglings. The longer this matches go for Protoss, I feel like it's just bad just because Terran, they're still cost efficient, man. <laughs> they could just keep wasting units. Well, they're, yeah, they're really mineral heavy. I mean, you don't need too much gas for this type of army, right? It's it's super yeah. mineral heavy. He should get. Some, I mean, geez, this this late game, it'd be cool to see like some ravens for like point defense drones to to defend your Vikings. Oh my god! From the stalkers, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, he would really have an advantage with those. Cosmic building up this uh, Tempest army though in the top right they're just like floating over no man's land I don't know what he's doing with those I think he kills some overlords or something but I mean he could just pick away a base <laughs> yeah. this looks like what he's gonna do he's gonna start taking out bases with the Tempest slowly storm is gonna be very building. important oh if he could oh if he could feedback all these oh no he gets away I thought that was that was gonna happen. I thought there was gonna be feedbacks on all those full medevacs. Oh, this is not looking good. San has like 6,000 minerals at this point. It's just amazing. I mean, I don't know why he's not sharing. <laughs> I mean, you can only have 200 supply. Yeah. He has 200 supply. 200 supply and 600 and 6,000 minerals. Like. You could probably throw some to fork bomb, you know, like make. He could make like 6,000 minerals, like he'd probably make 200 supplies early with that, like, it's ridiculous. That would help a lot. Especially because he has great ground upgrades. Uh, or, uh, yeah, fork bomb. Ooh, it took all the robotics bay. Well, the drop didn't take too much right in the grand scheme of things. No. Especially because Cosmic has a good amount of money. Oh, he just spent a ton of it. Is he warping in somewhere? Just trying to lag a little out. He, need, he needs more claw size. Is he still <laughs> sitting on that one? Yeah, just one. Yes. Yeah. He's just gonna really need some key storms. Three is a sweet spot, right? You want at least three, right? At least. Yeah. I, yeah. Drop going out to the top right again. I think Cosmic may have seen that because he's heading back that way. Or maybe he's just poisoning. I'm not sure. Oh, I think he sees it now. Tom starting to get some money back. <laughs> Long distance mining from the uh, the gold there. Fork Bomb is just out of this game. Like this poor, this poor Zerg. He's making one Broodlord in his natural. <laughs> Dropping the top right. Pretty easily cleaned up by Cosmic though. Yeah, it's good a little bit. He left two units there. I don't know why. Uh, Protoss, I feel like you guys never get your shields. I don't know why. Like, shields are great. They regenerate. Oh, look. I, I do them. Look at the forge at the top middle. It's like 99% done oh. shields and it's depowered. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's stuck. Oh. He, can't, he can't start That's it either so until he repowers that. He can't restart anything. How do you not? That's so worth 100. I know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You probably didn't know this so much. Especially here comes a big engagement. Oh, great concave! Really pushing the uh, back here. Oh, but here comes the go. storm. The one broodlord. Looks look, like... look, look at those broodlings. Look at that. How did that broodling reach there? That was insane. Did you see that? Yeah. The broodling like went a hundred miles. Where's this ghost? I, that was the EMP, right? I don't this think one he has any ghosts. He has no ghosts. I know, I thought he didn't have one either, but... This looks so weird. I thought I saw an EMP. Maybe a diet? No ghosts. Um, 
Yeah, it could have been something dying. It just it was like, oh shit, I still saw a storm going. Oh, units loss doesn't show each player like it does in 1v1. Yeah, never mind. Oh, look at wow. Tom's actually getting uh he's getting a base up and Tom has a pretty good income, getting some barracks going. Just marines. If he had like just marines, that would be so helpful. Yeah. You need marauders though for that storm in the claw side. Oh and the one through more Yeah. Tempest like four shot broodlord, it's like see ya. No chance for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was wondering too, like why all these pros were saying like, you know, if, if they get brood lords or a lot of colossi to start pumping out Tempest, because you know, I always thought Tempest suck. But when you're facing armor units like that, they do really good. So I was like, wow. Yeah, massive air massive units, like they're like so insane against brood lords. Yeah. Oh well, so like since I seen that, like if if I ever seen something getting like a lot, I would I'll pull out four or five of them real quick. I haven't seen some. I haven't seen a few uh, early. By, uh, look, at these, look at these tempest sitting ducks. Yep. Oh well, they're all gonna go down. Trying to kite as best as he can. Oh, he saves it with some high templars. Ooh, nice storms, come on! Do it right there. The one brew lord won't save the day. Oh, there's two brew lords. Three. Oh wow. Mm. This is a good fighting position for Cosmic and Texas Tech, but there's a drop, so Sam doesn't have his entire army down here. There's a drop up in the top right, taking out Cosmic's expansion. Ooh, but took now, out the Cybernex Corps. Oh boy, this seems like it's gonna be all or nothing. I mean, Sam's like, he's cornering himself, and unless he loads his Metabanks, he's gonna be stuck up here. He's on move command, I don't know what he's doing! He's probably oh. just trying to call time, maybe. Maybe try to build another army up. He's running around, he just keeps spinning though, I mean, he's losing health, health after health. And... Oh, and Tom T with the, with the Savior Marine slowing them down. He left all of Sam's army. He didn't start rebuilding that Cybernetic score though. He's only got to do Zelda after this. Wow, and Sam's army just got completely destroyed, but. He does have some re uh, some reinforcements. I mean, but like Cosmic has a huge supply lead, almost a hundred supply lead right now. Yeah. And Tom is actually rebuilding his supply. He's up at forty four. He's getting some Marines out. His oh, he's really mining this out quickly. But I mean, it's still better than what Fort Bomb's got going on, which is practically nothing. I mean, this entire map is practically mined out. There's some minerals in yeah. Cosmic's natural, but. It's good though, never give up. You know, try to get out as many units as you possibly can still though. Some support is better than no support. Tom is like the only person with oh. income right now. Okay, Cosmic has like three mineral patches in the top middle. And then Tom is the only one that has like a good amount of mineral patches. Oh, and he's cleaning, Cosmic cleaning up Tom's army, or at least his reinforcements. Yeah, it's a nice force. It's a really cool force. Archon, Immortal, Colossi. It's pretty cool too. Links away with some stalkers there. <sighs> Throwing scans, trying to get input from where his army location is. Boy, going for like almost like a base trade. Tom's army or Tom's base just gets destroyed. <laughs> Jeez, I don't. If San just made some ghosts, I mean, he needs ghosts and Vikings. You can't, you can't fight High Templar Colossi with just straight bio, especially Archon too. This yeah, thing, yeah. If he had ghosts, you could just EMP them. This isn't gonna work. Especially with this, he has this good scanning, you know, scan ahead. If he just had ghosts to follow up with snipes, it would be real nice. He's 313 three Archons, like, I mean, people I feel like underestimate Archons sometimes, but they have Splash. They're very DP unless you EMP them. Oh, and Hugo Sand, he's taking out the production. I mean, that base is mining for Cosmic, but it was like, not even, 
really consider it. Tom pushing with with his SCV train and his Bio Force. Oh, this isn't going to be good for Hassan. I mean, he's got to. He doesn't even have enough medivacs to get everything out of there. Oh, and one medivac gets taken down. Oh, that's. I feel like that's the nail in the coffin. He's got 80 supply, and he's got like. He's rebuilding some forces, but I mean, he has 20 minerals. 20 minerals. Yeah. And he's not mining at all. One fully loaded meta that got away. The only one mining right now is Cosmic. I don't even know from where. I have no idea. Oh, right here, long distance mining from the high from the high yield. Mm -hmm. Tom T going for a drop back in action. God, bio is so good for taking out DPS, man. So fast. <laughs> so fast. Yeah. Oh, this this army from Cosmic is just unstoppable at this point. Every time, dude. This son, dude, always finds a way to just swim around his army. I know. <laughs> he's like trying to buy time, but there's 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 no time I know, he's to doing buy. It really well. But, but. Th there's no point. There's no minerals. Like he can't, yeah. he can't mine. Look, yeah. Tom's army could practically fight with this. I mean, with all his SCVs at this point. I mean, he's fighting <laughs> quite well. He's pushing yeah. him back. It's doing really well. Yeah. Oh, that was a really good game by both. Oh, Son trying to load up his medivac, but oh, he loses one. Oh, and Tom could head him off. Especially because Stems. He oh, oh, takes it out. Nice. Oh, sees his forge. Still has that one second upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shields forever. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, it will never be finished. Look at look at Son. He's just. He's trying to freaking expand in the only place with minerals right now. He's just like <laughs> flying his base straight into the enemy. He's just like, I'm gonna take minerals at all costs. Cosmic throws his probes on him. Tom just gets his army. That's, that's it. That's, that's a nice that up. I think Tom's trying to do a desperate um, kill all your buildings before you kill all my buildings type thing. Not even a base base. Oh! The chasing, that? The chasing oh, Tempest, Tempest just took out one of the medevacs. The super, super fucking slow chasing Tempest. Fork Bomb coming in with a one hour, three minute Overlord scout into cosmic space. <laughs> Son. Son is fighting like an iron. Moving down to this last, last building. Now Cosmos is pr pretty much A moving through all the remaining structures of San here. Looks like San's trying to go for the uh, natural expansion of Cosmics. Yeah. There's still minerals there. Tom sees it. Fork Bomb calls the GG. San oh. calls the GG, and that's it. Texas Tech takes the 2v2 in a crazy back and forth. One hour long. Is that 2 1? And uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, guys, but University of Texas submitted their lineup late, and they actually suffered a two game penalty. So the last two games were not played, and Texas Tech takes it <laughs> 4 to 1. With the only loss being um, Rogue when Mega Man Zen beat Rogue earlier in the ZVT. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Hydro. I'm the uh, Texas Tech coordinator. I thought I'd stream the game since no one else was doing it. I also played. And uh, with me, my co host, Shadow Wolf. Hello. Hello, we're saying goodbye, but alright. <laughs> 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 but, yep. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching everyone and signing off and uh, maybe we'll catch you next week if no one else wants to stream and I'll do it again. Alright. Later. Bye.